My name is Scott Stafford. Um, I've been the creative director of music and sound for Google Spotlight Stories uh, since their first episode back in 2012 called Windy Day. Um, I've worked in some capacity on every Spotlight Story, um, which is a very amazing opportunity because each we've done 10 now and worked on about a dozen projects and each has had a very different director and team, so it's been very uh, special for me to have worked in some capacity on every single one of them. Uh, we are doing a sneak peek today of Sonaria, which is our first um, experiment, which is similar to you know a shorts department in a feature film studio. You would try to do things in shorts that you couldn't do on a feature. So it's the same type of thing. Um, scenario is an expression of what we realized we really needed to do because every project we've worked on has been driven by the specific needs of each director. But we also want to build tools and release them to the public and realize that sound is so important in VR and the ability to do things like um, procedurally mix between two thresholds where you're below and above the water where at any time the viewer can shift between these two and hear something very different below and above. Um, so we wanted to advance the technology of sound, but we also wanted to make it very beautiful and an interesting experience that looks really cool. So it was a collaboration with Kevin Dart and his company called Chromosphere. Originally the concept was we have these computers in our pockets that are capable of delivering incredible experiences, but at the time they weren't really being used as storytelling devices. And if they were, the, the projects and, and the stories that were being told were really just films or games that you could play anywhere else. They're, they weren't really taking advantage of the sensors um, so that you could sort of envelop people in this 360 story using a phone that you already own in your pocket and a pair of headphones, you could have a fully surround 360 experience and think about stories in a new way. And so um, it was a project that was incubated by Google um, in Motorola in a sort of a research and development hardware division where they wanted to work with real filmmakers and storytellers to use um, interactive technology and sensors to be able to tell a story in a way that isn't just a movie on a phone but is a, an experience that you could only have that way. Over the uh, number of projects we've been able to do more and more things and Pearl, um, which is from last year, was the first time we had built something that was truly in VR that took advantage of um, you know six degrees of freedom where you can stand up and sit down and move around and that was a, a on the one hand uh, we were prepared because it was a, a, a only one step from mobile 360 to VR but that is a huge step there's a big step when you are embodied inside the store inside the story it's a different emotion a different feeling and there's a lot of, of things in, in sound that are even more important than they are in film to get right so that was kind of a big discovery for us We've also worked with studios like Ardman um, and Nexus in London. Uh, we worked with Justin Lin. So the idea is work with very different directors telling very different stories um, and support that pro process. And then the tools that we make are going to benefit from all these different people trying to tell very different stories so that we can then release it to the public and, and let people create their own. We are very excited about uh, working with Jorge and Son of Jaguar. Um, it's totally different from anything we've done before. In some ways it's the first from the beginning VR project. Um, it's the environments are going to be very evocative. You're in a, a sort of a, a small boiler room and then you come out into a huge space. The characters have this huge scale. Um, so we're very excited about doing stuff with lighting and shading and scale and acoustics that we've never done before. But the thing that is probably the most excited about, exciting about working with, with Jorge is that the way he says yes and more. Um, he it has his own style and we're already doing things with music where we're fusing metal and traditional Mayan music 
um, just f he's fearless and he wants to try everything. So uh, we're excited to see where that goes in the next couple months.